Hey guys, it's Susan and I'm back with another Does This Really Work? This time, I'm going to want to find out and show you how to do this. I read that you can polish shoes by using a banana, well actually, a banana peel. So I want to see, does this really work? You have to use an overripe banana, obviously, and this would be one way to use it instead of, uh, well, how we always go to the old fail safe. If you don't throw the bananas out, guess what you make with it? Mm-hmm. Banana bread. It said that you can just use a peel of a banana. So I'm just going to pull down, I don't know, I guess this much right now. Whew, this is a very overripe banana. <laughs> it is very stringy. And it says you can just rub the peel right on a boot or shoe, whatever preferably leather, to shine up and take scuffs out instead of getting all that shoe polish. I remember as a kid, my dad used to always polish his shoes all the time. He had that special, you know, shoe polishing kit. I think I used it a few times for, like, stuff I had for, like, school events and cheerleading certain shoes they made us wear. He had to polish those. I will tell you this. I mean, this is eco-friendly. If you don't like, don't mind the smell of bananas, all right? If you don't like bananas, you might not like this. It's a little weird because it's, well, you know, when bananas get older, they're wiggly. So it kind of is squishy under your hands. I'm assuming that's good enough. So just take a damp cloth. Sorry, I shouldn't put that on the table. Now I'm making everything bump. Oh, wow. It is pretty shiny. Looks a lot better than it did. And surprisingly, it doesn't smell like banana. I thought it would. I mean, I can smell the banana here, but no, the boot doesn't smell like it. So there you go. If you don't have any shoe polish, you realize you've got, uh, well, <laughs> scuffs on a shoe and you got to go somewhere. Well, you know what? An overripe banana in a pinch will do. Now you can try it. 